Good morning. How are you? It's 4.30 on Sunday the 5th of March and it's Conti Cup final day. I am covering weekend sports breakfast at Talk Sports Day, so I have just arrived at work. Slept really well, like weirdly well, for how early we were up. So we move, we're on to the day. This is Talk Sport Towers. People always ask, what it's like in here? So I thought I'd take this opportunity. Oh, I've locked myself out. What an idiot. Gotta be faster than that. Ugh. It's a dugout. It's cute, isn't it? It's just a cute little feature. The wall. I'm never gonna be on the wall. Some famous people have been here. I'll sign that at some point. And here we go. Got a management set. Naturally, they won't be here at half four on a Sunday morning. This is the studios. Usually, I spend a lot of time in here in the Top Sport 2 studio. And I'll be there from 6 a.m. Yeah, this is where it's at. I'm always the first one here. I quite like it. I love being early. I'm so sad like that. Anyway, I just wanted to, to vlog the day because I'm hoping that there's going to be an incredible moment today, like Arsenal last night in their game against Bournemouth, that perhaps there's going to be this winning moment for Arsenal today in the Conic Cup final against Chelsea, that they'll pull it out the bag. They need this win, right? They, they need this win so much. And, the squad, I think, deserve it. I think the, the players deserve it. The fans deserve it. The manager deserves it. It's time. It's time for some silverware for Arsenal. And I think it could be today. And I'm really hoping and holding out for a magical moment. Chelsea are the better team. They've got it all. But I think Arsenal, if they're tuned properly today, could do something wonderful. Anyway, time to focus on the show and then we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Oh, it's a cold one. Okay, show finished. Having a cup of tea. Train is in 11 minutes. Look at Black... Is Blackfire Station maybe not the best station in the world? Look at that view. The city. It's incredible, isn't it? Wonderful. Uh, anyway, this is a better view. Um show went well i actually said the last thing i said today on air was selhurst park sold out today Forty thousand fans just continued talking and they got a message saying you idiot do women get allowed more fans because they're women check your facts selhurst twenty five thousand, not forty thousand. and i thought i knew that why was i saying forty thousand? i think in my head i was thinking that of the arsenal chelsea game last time round at the Emirates. Something was something like 40,000 was sold, but I think that's what's in my head. 32,000 turned up or something. Anyway, more stories later, guys. Um, I did a nice bit on air talking about um, Kim Little and her MBE that she received earlier on this week at Buckingham Palace and just how incredible it was for her and I always feel that um, she's like a sports person who's never wavered or never ever stepped away from her professionalism on or off the pitch and she's a talent maybe the best that I've ever seen and it was just lovely to see her get an MBE and then I kept thinking oh my goodness wouldn't it be great if she could pick up some silverware this afternoon as well um I've been listening to this podcast it's called motivational speeches and it's like 10 minute clips of like motivational people um giving you that edge to kind of go and attack the day etc um my husband got me listening to it and anyway i thought well if the arsenal girls could stick that on in the dressing room today it might push them over the line because it makes you feel really pumped uh, anyway going home going to do sky sports news for an update to them and then it is to conte cup final i believe my husband and i are traveling with the mccabe sisters so a gin might be had back at blackfriars for the second time today this time, we have company. <laughs> Got Ellen McCabe and Melissa McCabe Hi. on tour. We're ready. McCabe's on tour. <laughs> yeah, ready for the Conti Cup. 
We're heading there now, we must be about half an hour away. Gee, Daddy's got us. <laughs> Right gang, here we go. We made it. Sell hers pumping. What a journey that's been. Two hours on the nose. Um, so, team news. Uh, Marit starts over Vin Reuter. Uh, no changes to the formation. We are all well. Which I'm surprised about because you just played Chelsea seven days ago, so I thought there would be changes, but there's no changes. Hey, what do I know? It's a sellout. It's about to kick off, and we're all still inside. Oh, we're going baller. So you know people. Oh. I thought they get a little posh area. Okay, we're literally just here. So here we're going to be here. Sam Kerr scored. You're on camera! <laughs> okay, so it's 1 0 Chelsea. Sam Kerr has scored. And we're three minutes into the game. Wow, look at this. Habitat with blankets around their knees. Beth Mead is on fire. Gio and Viviana Mead above. Take your hand down, friend. She is. Good atmosphere here. We like Selhurst Park. We like that, don't we? Okay, a little bit of break and play. There's a bit of a clash ahead with Katie McCabe and Ancaster Parker. I just didn't see this coming and I don't mean that to be negative, I just, based on how they've been of late, it's just been such a refreshing watch, they look brave, they look solid, they look calm, three goals in the first half, this is not the Arsenal we're used to, so, first goal, uh, well obviously there was the penalty, well, the first goal came from Stina, outstanding, she needed that, Arsenal needed that, well done Stina. 
I'm sorry if I ever doubted you. Won't happen again. Then there was the penalty. Uh, Kim Little, well done, Kim. Your MBE week. And then the third came from Rafael Souza. Outstanding. Arsenal three, Chelsea one. Okay, so we're 65 minutes into the second half. Chelsea have made a few changes. Katie McCabe's come off for Arsenal and been replaced by Palova. All things stand as before. It's still 3-1. Arsenal still looking at it. There's something about Chelsea that's missing at this moment in time and I'm looking at the bench and I'm not sure what's going to make the difference for them just now. Selhurst Park is a great place to be. Loving the atmosphere, loving the vibes. I'm loving that Arsenal might be getting a trophy today. Hey. Cheers from the players' lounge. Pernilla Hardis on my right, Lily Bright's on my left, um, and I'm wearing a bright red scarf. Anywho, um, just to wrap up, incredible win for Arsenal today. I didn't see that coming. It was really impressive. They had everything. They delivered. They were brave. They were strong. They weren't bullied. They knew what they were doing, and it was wonderful to see. Um, disappointment for Chelsea, disappointment I would imagine for Emma Hayes, that's where it goes, there's going to be one loser. Um, anyway, pretty pleased, it's been good to watch and be part of the celebrations and cheers to Silverware for the Gunners. Thank you for watching, please like, please subscribe and I'll see you soon.